Who doesn't love brand new tech products? And this one apparently makes Shaky Video dead. If you're thinking right now that I got a brand new haircut, that is because I did get a brand new haircut. And if you're not thinking about it, you're probably thinking about the newly released GoPro Hero 7 Black, White, and Silver. That's right, there's three models of the GoPro, but we've kind of seen this before. This is the first time that we're seeing this type of lineup from GoPro ever since the GoPro Hero 4. That's right, the GoPro Hero 6 only had the GoPro Hero 6, and the GoPro Hero 5 only had the GoPro Hero 5. But now we have three versions because the leaks were true. Of course they're true. When are, when, when are leaks wrong? We got the black, the silver, and the white. And of course, the black is the front line version. That one starts off at $400. And the silver model is in the middle of the black and the white. That one starts off at $300. And the white starts off at $200. But the white looks more like a light gray. And then the silver looks like a darkish gray, like space gray. All the brand new features, actually most of them, if not all of them, are software features. So they kind of could have been introduced on the Hero 6, but I won't blame GoPro for that. I'm just kind of a little salty because I have the GoPro Hero 6, and we're going to try out a feature just later in this video. Don't worry, I'll get to all of the jam-packed Hero 7 Black features in a second, but first I have to just quickly sum up the silver and the white. The silver is kind of like the GoPro Hero 5, and the Hero 7 White is kind of the GoPro Hero. Unlike the Hero 7 Black, it does not come with an LCD display on the front. It, of course, still comes with that 2-inch LCD display on the back but I'm talking about that like you know the tiny display on the front well the silver and the white doesn't come with that and you know kind of like cutting some costs but the seven in black silver and white all have that nice waterproof durable design of up to 33 feet or 10 meters it still has the voice controls it still has that two inch touchscreen everything's the same but kind of like more of an internal changes the 7 Silver, just like the GoPro Hero 5, so kind of confusing, but those two are kind of similar because they both have a maximum resolution at 4K 30 frames per second and 1080p 120. The GoPro 7 White, just like the GoPro Hero, maxes off at 1080p at 60 frames per second with 720p at 120 frames per second slow motion. And that right there was just quickly summing up the Hero 7 Silver and White, both with 10 megapixel cameras instead of the 7 Black's 12. It's a little confusing, but once you just wrap your head around it, it makes like super sense. Now on to the new features of the Hero 7 Black. And there's kind of like three main features that I'm going to talk about. But just quickly, GoPro says that there's a brand new processor inside of this one. The 7 Black maxes out at 4K at 60 frames per second. And for slow motion, it maxes out at 1080p at 240 frames per second, just like the Hero 6. And the Hero 7 also has that front little LCD display, just like the Hero 6. The Hero 7 Black, of course, comes in that black color, and I think this black looks super, super nice compared to that kind of like grayish color on the Hero 5 and Hero 6 that we haven't seen for years. I'm all for more color options, and this GoPro lineup has three different ones. I'm all up for that. Good job, GoPro. I'll add a fourth brand new feature that GoPro added to the Hero 7, but the fifth thing that I'm not going to talk about as a main feature is that GoPro actually improved the microphone quality in the black silver and white. Increased microphone quality on the GoPros, that's what we've all wanted for a while now. Thank you for listening. The four main features on the Hero 7 Black is hyper smooth video, super photo, kind of like smart HDR, and now you can now live stream and of course time warp video. I'm going to explain that all right now. Hyper smooth video is kind of the feature that most people are excited about and this is a feature that is just going to hyper stabilize your footage. And I thought the Hero 6 was already stable enough, like the video stabilization. Well now GoPro saying and all the promotional videos for it is now saying that it's super, super stable. And because it's so stable, it's allowing for a hyper lapse mode. This is the second feature called time warp video. This is just like a regular hyper lapse, but you could just shoot it with your hands. You just grab a Hero 7 Black with your hands, go around a subject, let's say like a building or like a road, you're going through a road or anything cool that could be a hyperlapse and you voila, you just walk around it, drive around it, whatever, and bam, hyperlapse me. The third feature for the Hero 7 is called Super Photo. This is kind of like the iPhone XS Magic called Smart HDR or the Google Magic with the Google Pixel 2 XL's camera. This is just using enhanced HDR processing after the fact. So so it's kind of like HDR, but HDR 
plus boosted. And the last feature on the Hero 7, mind you, all of these features are not on the silver or white, so the 7 is kind of worth your money, just a hinting at there. But the 7, you now have the capability of live streaming to Facebook Live and other streaming platforms that support the coding format. I'll admit it firsthand, I was kind of doubting GoPro with this Hero 7. I was like, like, what can they possibly add to this action camera when the, the build is just already, like, it's waterproof by itself. It has 4K at 60, it has 1080p at 240. So what can they add to that to make you want to buy the action camera? And I'm not going to upgrade from the Hero 6 because the Hero 6 is good enough. 4K at 60 frames a second, that's good. But with the Hero 7, you are getting some pretty decent features and some that people have asked for for a long time. You're getting better microphones, you're getting hyper smooth video, you're getting live streaming, you get that smart HDR or just super photo. You're getting a lot of good features. So if you wanted to upgrade from your GoPro 3, 4, 5, or maybe just the GoPro Hero regular, then this, the Hero 7 Black is going to be it for sure. Is it worth the upgrade from the Hero 6? Eh, not really. But the good thing about the Hero 7 Black is it actually starts off $100 less than the Hero 6. The Hero 6 actually started at $500, which I actually bought it for. Now it's starting at 400 So good job, GoPro there. But that's kind of towards the sales struggle. You had to. At the end of this video, I'm just going to roll a clip of kind of my own personalized time lapse with the GoPro Hero 6 because I think the GoPro Hero 6 is stabled enough. GoPro says they increased it, so I, I believe them. But I want to see if you can do that time warp video with the Hero 6. I want to I want to try that. Thank you for watching this video and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you tomorrow for the latest and greatest. This right here is just handheld vlog footage on the GoPro Hero 6. Tell me this isn't like super stabilized, just with my hand. Nothing that special. I mean, it's got its in-body digital stabilization, but is that enough? Is the Hero 7 that much of an upgrade? You tell me, I'm shaking my hand a little bit. It should still be stable. Even if I run, I'll run real quick. Whew. Watch the road, watch the road. I mean, still pretty stable. Maybe not as stable as just walking like this. Stable for me though.